UCLA. Play fake, pump fake now. He fires, looking for a man. Inside the five, it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Welcome to Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Vantage West Credit Union, offering more banking choices, lower fees, and more personalized service. Visit VantageWest.org to learn why Arizona Wildcat fans deserve more. Welcome to another edition of Wildcat Weekly with head coach Rich Rodriguez. The Cats head out on the road to face the Stanford Cardinals Saturday night at Stanford Stadium. It will be the first conference road game for the Wildcats and the first home game for the Cardinal in that regard. We'll get to that in a moment, but coach, your team coming off a loss to UCLA in the conference opener, and I think you mentioned early in the week turnovers. They're big in every game, but certainly big when you get into conference play. And when you look back at this one, were those three first-half turnovers kind of the, the death knell, I guess? Probably were, and, and not only were the turnovers, but where we had them, giving them a great field position, and, and uh, we were struggling to stop them anyway. When you give them the ball on a 16-yard line or inside the red zone, it's it's a tough deal. And, it, and the worst part, it was uh, – self-inflicted you know sometimes you have turnovers because they make a great play and they they made some good plays but ours were because they were self-inflicted and so we were behind from the get-go we tried to make a little bit of a comeback but we were just off all night when you came out in the third quarter the team scored on its first two possessions there still down by 19 but there just seemed to be some energy going did you feel at that point that, that there was a good chance I felt good you know we certainly had made an adjustment when a new one out and Gerard was in there and so we were adjusting some of the things we were doing offensively and defensively we got a couple stops uh, and I felt the energy in the crowd. We just couldn't get that key stop that we needed to defensively to get the momentum truly shifted in our way. Talk about the running game because your team continues to run the ball well and defensively played well against the run against UCLA. How important is that going to be going forward? Oh, it was critical. I don't know if I've uh, – I didn't realize we had 350 yards rushing until after the game, and I don't know if I've ever lost a game running for 350. Uh, so we did run the ball well, and I thought we, we did a decent job blocking a pretty athletic front. But we just didn't finish drives again in the red zone. We, you know, we missed a kick, which was un, you know, not, not normal for Casey. We you know, had some turnovers down there. So it was just off, and that's – that's one thing we got to do against Stanford. You know, we know they're going to try to control the ball with their running game. We got to be able to run it ourselves. All right, what about Stanford? They've got a fifth-year senior quarterback in Kevin Hogan, and uh, they lost that first game at Northwestern. But it looks like continue to get better and better. Yeah, I think they've hit their groove just in time for us. And uh, you know, big physical team. What you'd expect from Stanford. They and they're a little bit more multiple offensively. Even though they're going to use six or seven linemen or fullback tight ends and and come downhill at you, they do a lot of different formation groupings, a lot of different things defensively of it challenge you mentally as well as physically so it's going to be a big week for us especially as banged up as we are at linebacker just finding 11 healthy bodies that can go up and stop the run is going to be key for us it seems Stanford has been producing a lot of quality tight ends of late are they still using that in their offense as a feature they use multiple tight ends and it's what's unique about them is they'll use extra offensive linemen in a formation and put a, a bit of offensive tackle in a tight end position or even in a backfield somewhat so that's that, that size standpoint we're not a big team that size standpoint has us concerned, so we got to play with great leverage. What we did not do in the game, well, against UCLA, was get off blocks and tackle well. Uh, that's going to be critical for us to do a better job of that. All right, Cats and the Cardinal coming up Saturday night, 7:30 kickoff at Stanford Stadium, and more of Wildcat Weekly right after this. At Vantage West, we know life moves fast: the morning grind, the power lunch the dinner rush. We know banking is not about where we are, but where you need us to be, on the go, online, and in person. We know you want more from your bank, someone you can trust, someone offering more opportunity, more security, and more personal service. We are Vantage West, and you deserve more. Welcome back to Wildcat Football Weekly, online, on the go, or in person. Vantage West offers more banking choices, lower fees, and more personalized service. Visit VantageWest.org to learn why Arizona Wildcat fans deserve more. Welcome back to Wildcat Weekly. We're uh, joined right now by Jacob Alsadek, Wildcat's uh, sophomore right guard, big offensive lineman, blocking for Nick Wilson and all those guys back there. Uh, tough coming off a loss, but you guys uh, sit at 3-1 and one right now. Uh, tell us about the season to date, at least from your viewpoint. You know, I think that we have a lot of potential. I mean, obviously we've shown that. You know, we, I think last game offensively we were putting drives together. We were just shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean, obviously Coach Rod has probably said that a couple times now, but... You know, we kept moving the ball. We kept getting first downs. You know, we had a lot of yards. So, you know, there's potential, but we just got to put it all together and execute better. A couple that you've had 
four different quarterbacks behind you so far this <laughs> season, but uh, two in particular, Anu Solomon and, and, and Jared Randall, and they're obviously different types of guys. What is different from the offensive line viewpoint, depending on who's in the game at quarterback? You know, Anu, you know, you don't think he's going to run as much, but, you know, Gerard, sometimes you don't really know what you're going to get. <laughs> so, but, I mean, he's a great player. He can run real fast, as you guys can see that. But, you know, I think that Anu's more of a I'm going to go by the books kind of guy. Gerard's more of like a freelancer, I guess. But, you know, Gerard, he's, he's a good player. Anu's a good player. You know, I think we can win with either one of them. So. What, was UCLA's defensive front um, measurably – bigger and stronger than the first three teams you faced this year? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you're playing a different Pac-12 team, so I think that, you know, that obviously has a, a different standard to it. But UTSA, NAU, and Nevada, they all have great D-lines too, so... I mean, but it's definitely a different type of aspect to it. Is that you, you, you probably expect that now for the next eight games in yeah. conference play. Everybody's going to be bigger and stronger, right? Yeah, you know... Everybody you play now is just going to be better and better, so you got to keep expanding your game and getting better and better too. So, Okay. What's the most fun about playing the offensive line? Just blocking for somebody and watching Nick or Anu or Gerard running right behind you, and you see them out of the corner of your eye running by, and you think, oh, man, it's my block that made that play. So that's a good feeling. And, you know, when you get a lot of rushing yards too, that's also a good feeling, no sack, stuff like that. So. At, at what point during a play then, you just mentioned, I'll say out of the corner of your eye, you see yeah. Nick running by you. When do you get to start celebrating? Uh, probably never because <laughs> I'm still blocking so he doesn't get tackled from behind. But, you know, you're blocking somebody, you hear the crowd yelling, you think, oh, all right, cool, like you did something good, you know. But it's different because, you know, we don't have a stat or anything like that. So you don't really know. The, or even fans don't know, you know, like, oh, th did he play well? You know, you can't tell. But I think that that's the part of being an offensive lineman. You know, you just kind of work in the shadows. So I think I like that aspect of it right. too. But Favorite class right now? What do you mean? Oh, school-wise? School yeah. yeah. I'm taking a, a class on commodity change, Geog 210. I really like that class. So that's pretty interesting, but it's fun. All right. <laughs> Beyond me. Okay. <laughs> Jacob Alcidheck, Wildcat starting right guard, sophomore out of San Diego. And uh, we'll be back again next week with another edition of Wildcat Weekly. Thanks for watching Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Vantage West Credit Union. Visit VantageWest.org to learn how you can get more personalized service, federally insured by NCUA.